the training here has been the most hands-on training that I've gone through in a long time. Most manufacturers are, they hand you a book, they stand up there and talk for a while, maybe take a tour. Here you get the whole thing. It's, it's very hands-on. Hi, this is Andrew with DPS TV. Today, you're getting an inside look at the factory training courses offered right here at DPS. You just heard from one of our many clients who have attended these comprehensive training classes. During this video, you'll get a peek at the DPS training facilities, learn about the topics covered, hear from other class participants, and meet your instructors. For more, we turn you over now to Karina, your factory training hostess, live from the classroom. Hi, Andrew. I'm here in the DPS classroom doing preparation for another factory training class coming up in just a few days. As you can see, this is the setup phase for the live equipment the students will be working with. Using live DPS gear offers students the best opportunities for hands-on learning. And here we've got a training instructor, Travis Mock, who's going to be telling us all about factory training at DPS Telecom. So Travis, tell us a little bit more about yourself and your role here at DPS. Well, I've been with DPS for three years now, and I do many things here. I, of course, do factory training. I also do tech support, uh, so I'm helping clients over the phone. Um, several times I've been out and helped clients on installs and, and training out there also. Uh, I also do product documentation and work with the engineering department. So it sounds like you're pretty involved with all sorts of DPS products. How does DPS factory training classes differ from everybody else? Well, DPS factory training is very involved. We get the clients involved hands-on. We definitely attend to their needs. Wow, so it sounds like each class can be pretty customized depending on the needs of the class. What would you say to someone who's watching and maybe doesn't have budget for this? Why should clients consider sending their techs out here for training? Well, there's a couple reasons, really. Um, the tuition is free for qualified professionals. Here in the classroom, we have relatively small classroom sizes, so we if any clients have any questions or anything like that, we can stop the class. And if the questions are further in depth, we can always meet afterwards and get in depth and kind of and work directly with the products that they're working with to solve their problems and let them know possible other solutions for them. So it sounds like there's even a few perks to coming to factory training. Are there any others? Factory training is nice because clients get to step inside our building and see exactly what it is that we can do to help them. They get to come out and see exactly how DPS operates. They get to meet engineering staff, production department, um, everybody here at DPS and find out exactly what it is that we do to help, help them make, make their lives easier. All right, thank you so much, Travis. I'll let you get back to setting up the classroom. Thank you. And now that you know why you need to come to DPS for training, let's get a peek at what you can expect. Let's go back to Andrew in the studio and he can tell us all about the class curriculum. Thanks, Karina. Each day of factory training is dedicated to a different topic, so let's go over those now. On day one, you'll learn all about the Team on Knock Master Station. You'll see Edit Mode, which is about setting up and editing your Team on database, and Monitor Mode, where you'll monitor alarms. You'll also be introduced to TGFX, the graphical map interface. Day two is all about the NetGuardian. Our instructors will show you how to wire up and install your RTUs, database your alarm points, and access the unit in many different ways. Day three is dedicated to ASCII. You'll learn how to use Tmon to break down incoming text messages into usable alarms. You'll end the day with a fully hands-on exercise. Even if you're brand new to ASCII, you'll be surprised how much you'll take away from it. To wrap things up, we'll cover SNMP and a little more about GFX on day four. During the SNMP lesson, you'll study MIBs and their structure, as well as the SNMP capabilities of DPS remotes and Tmon. After this class, you'll be fully capable of using DPS gear. Those of you watching this might be asking yourself, well, what if I've already been to training? What's in it for me? There's something for everyone here at DPS. We've got a special advanced class session coming up just for you power users. If you've attended training before, you're eligible for this special three-day class. We'll be covering topics like auto SNMP, advanced ASCII concepts, derived alarms, and anything else you'd like to discuss. This course only happens once a year, so you'll want to book your seat ASAP. Right after this class is the annual Teamon Users Group, where you'll share your ideas on the next evolution of Teamon. 
Here are the upcoming dates for factory training, the advanced training class, and the Team on Users group. You've got a class from July 20th to July 23rd, August 31st to September 3rd, the advanced class on October 5th to the 7th, immediately followed by the Team on Users group on October 8th and 9th. Finally, the last class in 2009 is from November 16th to November 19th. Now that you know what factory training is all about, you might be wondering what it's really like to attend. I can tell you how great this class is, but don't take my word for it. Here's what other clients are saying about training at DPS Telecom. Overall, I think uh, anybody that's looking into working uh, on alarm systems uh, and that, that it was very useful. The instructor's practical application knowledge was crucial. Uh, and it was a very well instructed course. And very good course. I thought the training was very good. Um, the instructors were excellent. Learned a lot about the products. Uh, not only the ones we do have, but ones we don't have. And so we know what to look, things that we can look at and say, you know, oh, that could really help us or save us some money somewhere uh, in monitoring costs. So the biggest takeaway is that we now have, an, have the knowledge we need to go back and look at our network and how it's going to apply in our environment. If you'd like more information on training or would like us to save you a few seats, give us a call at 1-800-693-0351. You can also sign up online at www.dpstele.com training. For DPS TV, this is Andrew signing off.